let us just recall as a way of sending a wake-up call and so on to our own African Renaissance <laughs> to remember study of Timbuktu who studied at the University of Timbuktu and all other African writers. We need to ask ourselves a question. Whatever happened to those African in intellectuals? The colonizers wanted us to despise ourselves in thinking that we are less human and so on and stuff like that. On the question of this matter of whether uh, HIV does not cost <laughs> I don't want to get into that, but uh, I bumped into a young man who asked me, Mr. President, uh, would you suggest that white South Africans also are Africans and so on and stuff like that? <laughs> then I had to say to the young man, when you study the rules of the co convention or the conventional rules, uh, when you study the rules of the society, when you study the rules of the tradition or the traditional rules and so on and stuff, like that, <laughs> you will realize that you only require five years uh, to be a citizen of a particular democratic society or any democratic society. And here we are talking about people who have been here for five centuries and so on. And, and in the process, they brought in their expertise and skills and talents and abilities and so on. And therefore, nobody dare question me when I say they are Africans and so am I. <laughs> Meanwhile, someone who's been highly respected in speech by Guinness Book of Records showed up for some comment as well. Well, in fact, I, uh, well, the, the fact is, in fact, really, I mean, in fact, in fact, there were quite a number of people, really, in fact, I mean, I mean, who we were questioning, in fact, this whole thing, in fact, in fact, and I was very much surprised, really, that, in fact, I, uh, in fact, even though, really, we, we, of course, wanted to control, in fact, in fact, was in that time. We, 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 we were, of course, in fact, I mean, we were expecting, in fact, in fact, in fact that outcome, really, in fact. A lot of people know, really, that I've been doing this, in fact, and I, I've been known, really, for being a, a, a person of the people, in fact, I mean, even people of lower strata, even people of lower strata, in fact, I've been very much involved, really. But I, I really have to talk, I mean, in fact, with the journalist, really, who wrote the story and who suggested that, in fact, I, I am being disrespectful, really. <laughs> uh, in fact, one can only draw one conclusion, really, that, in fact, I mean, one has to focus on positive things, in fact, that we have ch uh, achieved as a government over the past, in fact, uh, uh, ten years, in fact, <laughs> instead of focusing on, on negative things. The TRC itself was under spotlight after its inception. Former chairman is here for comment and opinion. And uh, we, we really had to say to them that uh, uh, the, the TRC, the TRC was never and will never be a court of law. 
man here. I remember talking to a young man here in one of the local schools here. And he said to me, but uh, how do you expect us to forgive these people? I then said, because we are a predominantly Christian country, but we notice that we are a toast salad, and therefore our diversity is our strength. We actually don't have adequate information that we can use to prosecute people because most papers have been shredded. And uh, 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 as the African men will say, uh, let bygones be, be bygones, we forgive and forget. And uh, as the African men will say, the battle is no honor the brah. I thank you. People across the country were skeptical about the president's reshuffling of the cabinet. And it looks like someone knows why. Ladies and gentlemen, personally, I just want to tell you why I think Otabo has decided to put me up on the Foreign Affairs Ministry portfolio. I think it is for a simple reason that, as you may all remember, as the Minister of Health, I have been so much vocal on smoking and it looks like Otabo doesn't want to quit his pipe. Finally, individual property rights will not solve the problems of the global common. This is our only planet. We have to be responsible and accountable for it together. For the test of our progress is not whether we add more to the abundance of those who have much. It is whether we provide enough for those who have too little. Uh, thank you. In any society, in any country, there are three groups or three kinds of people. The first kind that we have are those that we call the caretakers. <laughs> These are people who take care of other people's business rather than taking care of their own business. <laughs> the second group are those that we call the undertakers. These are people who take things under. They don't care what happens. But the third kind are the people who are in this auditorium right now. These are the people who see the possibilities in the midst of the impossible. These are the people who realize that they can turn their mess of the past into the message of the future. Yes. These are the people who realize that they can turn their tests of the past into the testimonies of the future. And these are what I call in this room the risk taker. <laughs> As I invite Nkatetu to Enshenga to join me up on stage to do a song. When you come from there, when you get the song, come to your home. Come on, help me this morning. We mamu ya nifu ya we nyu kumbombe na. Say it. We nyu kumbe guswe ya we nyu kumbu. Oh, but you better tell her that. Shoko, 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 shoko. Shoko ya nifu ya. When you come on the line. Thank you. Good morning, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.